Might have thought that I got a new truck or something here. This would be the worst trade deal in history of trade deals. So this is not my fourth gen. This is actually my dad's fourth gen. We're not here to talk about this truck at all, really. We're here to talk about stupid idiots. What all can I say on YouTube? We're just here to talk about trashy people. People who, people who have no boundaries, people who don't give a crap. People, we're here to talk about people who will walk up while you're in the store and steal your hubcaps because they're that desperate. Are, are they that desperate? I don't know, we're gonna find out how desperate they are when we catch them. Uh, but someone is. literally came out here and pried the hubcaps off of this truck. There's a pry bar mark on this side. Well, they couldn't get this one off. You can see where they tried. Story short, anyways, my dad has had a lot of stuff stolen from for for like, you know, just random stuff. I haven't had this happen. Probably because uh, they're scared, but my dad has had a decent amount of petty garbage happen to him. So he always said, you know, I want to catch someone one day. I want to sit out there and just wait. I want to wait. I want to put, you know, a bunch of valuables in the truck or whatever and just sit out there and wait. So we know that someone stole these and they didn't just come off because three out of four are gone and they don't just come off, you know, like they stay on when you're going 100 mile an hour. Like they don't just come off. Someone was desperate enough to steal hubcaps off a truck, like 120 bucks on eBay. Were they that desperate for 120 bucks that they were really willing to risk getting murdered? <laughs> Wait, what? How do we put this? Whoever took these hubcaps, <laughs> you picked the wrong truck. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of petty, you know? It was petty for them to steal the hubcaps off my dad's truck. Is it really that petty of us to just wait all day out there for like 15 days straight behind tinted windows and seven different bait trucks sitting out there with valuables in the bed and just tell 100,000 people on YouTube to go sick them? Is that really that petty? No, not at all. We actually have nothing better to do. So we're going to go sit out in the parking lot and we're just going to wait and see what happens. Dad has also hit about 25, 30 deer in his lifetime. I haven't hit any. It's illegal in Indiana to bait deer while you're hunting. So you put corn out and wait for him to come up and then you shoot him. Well, it's also illegal to vandalize people's vehicles when they hit you. And it's illegal to jaywalk. Today is the day that we take action. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Hmm. Someone could be in here, but at a quick glance, it shows that there's actually nobody in here. Oh, we got, there's a pair of boots over here. You got a nice Milwaukee tool chest here. A uh, Yeti sitting right on the tailgate. This guy looks like a stealer. Hurry. A stealer? <laughs> Have fun in jail. <laughs> Shh. Hurry up. This is too good. My wife used to work at this store and people ran away with power tools every single day. They were allowed to just walk out with them because the employees cannot do anything. They can't chase after and beat the crap out of them. So we're taking matters into our own hands here. Jason, you haven't seen him in a while. They didn't expect him. Jason has a broken leg. So he has nothing better to do than to sit here for 13 days and watch over this truck. And so help me, if one of you, pull the baseball bat. If one of you, <laughs> put what that away, we can't show them. No, yeah. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I can't wait to catch so I'll see like y'all in a couple hours. If I see someone, obviously we wait until they actually get it out of the truck bed. Do yes. I? We do hurry I up and hit them. Do I hold? <laughs> someone hops out wanting to play baseball. <laughs> right. We approach them rapidly with force. Here comes our first victim. He sees it. Hold up. He oh, he's, oh, he's par parking next to it. Okay. Oh, this is our first victim right here. Okay, hold up. He oh. Like, he's watch like, him just oh hit the truck. God. Little Jimmy wants a free Yeti. Little Jimmy's not going to get a free Yeti. I. He's going to get a free... I'm going to make a prediction. I don't think anybody's going to steal anything. Nobody's going to steal anything. Not for the first three days. But that's why you're here. <laughs> so they're, they're, no, they're... Oh, she's getting ready to... Looking. No. Don't look suspicious. You, she's legit got her hand on the lever know, and put I it in said, drive. Dude, dude, I got my foot on the brake. Steal it. Just take, I'm tired of sitting here. Very well, far. They Very. came out. They it's left. They parked over there after circling the truck. They will they reckon. I should sit in the back seat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're, oh. they're getting out. They're getting out. They're getting out. Record now. Recording. They're getting out. They have a code blue. Steal something. This boy I bought a trailer to I'm haul all the stuff. We waited quite a while, no one actually tried anything, unfortunately. I guess you just gotta be there like all week. But I guess what counts is that I'm prepared for the day something happens here at home. And uh, I can't wait because I have plenty of fully loaded drum mags. Not that I would empty one of them. 
There's a, there's a fine line. Where do you decide between lethal and non-lethal force? I, I, I don't know. It just depends on the day, I guess, which side of the bed you wake up on. That's some statistics you don't want to try out. So, uh, you know, in the meantime, maybe avoid stealing from people and uh, you'll live to see another day. We didn't get to use our baseball bat. I don't even know where it's at now. But I got a crowbar there, I got a rifle there, and I got two rifles there. So I, I can't wait for the day someone actually tries something and I'm there. Took to Instagram, showed a picture of him next to an R8 saying, car community, allow me to introduce myself. And saying, he asked what color for his Bugatti, and I said, if you wrap your Bugatti purple like everything else, I'm going to dig my eyes out with spoons, and he blocked me. So I said, if you wrap it purple like everything else, I'm gonna dig my eyes out with spoons. And then Stradman said, this isn't the first time he's attacked me for no reason. Attacked. I really apologize for any pain that that caused you, your family. I really wanted to apologize for uh, saying that I didn't like the color purple. But anyways, I just thought it was funny how sensitive you are. Oh, I posted the picture of the Teletubby. And I said, look, it's one of Stradman's purple cars. He didn't seem to reply to it. Um, Street Speed, you know, was able to take everything, but I guess not everyone in the car community is, is real uh, tough, actual man. Don't take it personally, bro, it's just a color. And uh, being a man is, is just uh, characteristic. So, uh, <laughs> the car is uh, still untouched. I could not find a Reese hitch for it. This probably sounds more like I'm, I'm coming at everybody, but I'm not, I wouldn't do that. And then someone also commented, oh, Stradman's on the Cars for Kids drive right now. That's a lot of things they do, like cars and coffee, and Street Speed does it too, and I get it. You go get scones and... Look, bro, it's a color. Did you know that millions of influencers are badly influenced every year from people telling them they don't like their the color purple? I said that wrong. That was a Joe Biden speech. All right. What's up, man? I'm Dalton. Cody. Nice to meet you. A freaking hornet's nest fell in here. It's like this big. You can see it back here. I threw out the battery. Okay, they're <laughs> Sees me. He's looking at me. <laughs> nah, they're still flying around. <laughs> Like uh, five days ago, I think. Five days ago. That we got the truck. You know that you can't drive a vehicle without plates. Well, the DMV's closed for like months, right? Well, she had to book out till November. I had an appointment. November twenty-third was the closest. You still can't drive a vehicle without plates on it. I mean, how do you get around if you don't have a car? Contact the DMV and. I mean, if you can't go there, though, you know, like. Well, you just can't. You can't operate on a vehicle. The governor had lifted that ban during. I assume you're referring to when he made a stay on the. Can you turn that off? So I don't yeah, no problem. Thank you. During the coronavirus, it's your vehicle. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So during coronavirus, when all that they shut down the B and Bs and stuff, they they've opened those back up, and there's no longer a grace period for registered vehicles, license plates, oh, and drivers. Know. Go. 2.88 seconds. Two, one, go. <laughs> what was that? I'll take my 2.8. Three. Oh, that was three. <laughs> one, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> Two, one, go. Go. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> well, was you like, forgot to hit stop, didn't you? Did. You idiot. Oh, he's <laughs> <quick>. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, I'm 
not going home with the monster Six, truck. Six, one, two, <laughs> two, one, go. Oh, wow. Dude, that's the hardest I part. staring into the camera. <laughs> I guess Clayton the idiot was at the sand dunes. Broke his coccyx. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. I just had a question. What? What in the coon <laughs> is this? <laughs> it's an old F-150 yeah, here. What the heck is this? <laughs> Alabamaville. Dude, this thing. Dude, guess how many it. miles are on this thing? Six. All of them. Fifty-nine thousand. Seven hundred thousand. <laughs> Almost. Dude, look at the hole. Dude. Idiot. Dude, I love this thing. I would buy this thing. I would pay ten thousand oh, dollars for this. <laughs> Thirty-two years. Jesus Christ. 